Okay, now we're moving into the main solo section of the song, and we're going to have an overdriven tone for this. And I'm uh, just going to play through the first couple of lines, and then we'll break that down. So here we go. Okay, first up, we're going to start on the fourth fret on the B string, and then we're going to play the fifth fret and then slide up to the seventh fret, and it should look like this. Okay, the fingering for this can kind of vary depending on how you play um, anyway, but for me, I just um, sliding up on the second on my second finger from the fifth fret to the seventh fret. Um, so it's just a little bit more comfortable for me that way. Also, um, you can either choose to kind of hammer on or uh, pick every note. So this is what it sounds like hammered on. Or you could pick. OK, then after that, we're going to slide up um, from the uh, seventh fret to the ninth fret on the B. Then we're going to have seven, five, and then four on the B. So then when we get to the fifth fret, we're going to slide down to the fourth fret. So we're going to have... So when you combine it with the first couple of notes, it should sound like this. Then you're going to hammer on from four to five on the B string. Then you're going to slide with your first finger from the fourth fret on the G to the sixth fret on the G. So that whole phrase. OK, now we're going to go back to the fourth fret on the G string. And we're going to uh, hammer on the sixth fret and then slide from six to eight on the G. Then from the 8th fret on the G, we're going to slide up to the 9th fret and then pull off to 8 and then 6 after. So we're going to have... So combined with the first half of that lick. And then to finish off that phrase, um, you can either play the 4th fret on the D string um, just on its own, or you can slide from, say, 6, but you'd have to kind of make it a fairly quick slide so it'd sound like this. So together with the other part should sound like this. OK, here's the next part of the solo section. OK, this uh, phrase starts on the D string on the 4th fret and um, you're going to play that twice, then the 4th fret on the G, then play the 4th fret on the D twice again, then you're going to slide from the 4th fret on the G to the 6th fret on the G. So, so far you've got this. Then you're going to slide from the 6th fret to the 8th fret on the G, then back to the 6th fret again. OK, so the next part of that phrase is going to start on the 4th fret on the G. And um, instead of kind of barring across two strings, I've decided to uh, use two separate fingers. So we're going to have this phrase. So starting on the 4th fret on the G, then we're going to have 4 on the, on the B, then 5 on the B, then we're going to slide from 7 to 9 on the B, then uh, pull off to our first finger on the 7th fret on the B, then slide from 7 to 5, then 5 to 4. So, so far we've got this. Then to finish off that phrase, we're going to have a hammer on on the 6th fret on the G, then pull off to the 4th fret on the G. So uh, that whole introduction to the solo um, should sound like this, back to back.
OK, now for the next phrase. OK, this next phrase is going to start on the 4th fret on the B string and it's going to be fairly similar to how we started the uh, solo to this song and uh, it's going to look like this. So you're going to have uh, 4 to 5 on the B then uh, 7 on the B, slide up to 9 on the B So you're actually playing the 7th fret on the B twice there. Then you're going to play the 12th fret on the B twice and then uh, play the 11th fret on the B once. So. so. Then uh, the next phrase is quite a nice um, sort of semi-fast lick uh, that goes like this. Uh, that's going to start on the 9th fret and the high E, and then we're going to play the 12th fret on the B, then back to the 9th fret and the high E. Then we're going to have 11 on the high E, 12 slide to 14 on the high E, so together it should look like this. Then you're going to pull off from 14 to 12, then slide to 11 on the high E. So we've got... Then after the slide from 12 to 11 on high E, um, you've got a hammer on on the 14th fret on the B. Then you bend that up a whole step. Then when you get it up to the pitch that you want, which would be uh, effectively the 16th fret on the B, uh, you just give it a little bit of vibrato just to kind of make it sing a little bit more. So that phrase again. OK, the next part is uh, going to be a, a half bend on the uh, 18th fret on the high E string. Then you're going to kind of quickly pull off to 16, then slide down to 14. So you're going to have... So half bend on the 18th fret, then um, you let that down, pull off to 16, then slide to 14. Then after that, we're going to replay uh, the 18th fret on the high E string then play 14 on the high E, then 16. Then we're going to go up to the 19th fret on the high E and bend that whole step. Let it down again, and then pick the same fret. Then we've got a whole step bend on the 17th fret on the B. Then we've got a small legato passage that starts on the 16th fret on the high E, and it pulls off from 16 to 14 to 12 and then to 11. Then we're going to go back to the 14th fret and pick every note after. So we'll have 14, 12, 11, then uh, 14 on the B. So. so together it should sound like this. Then to finish off this next phrase, um, we're going to start with our little finger on the 19th fret and the high E, and then we're going to play So we're going to just be um, bending up um, the 18th fret on the G slowly. Then we're going to have this lick. Which is kind of like a pedal tone lick. And we're going to start on the, um, the 18th fret on the high E. Then we're going to play 16 on the G. Then 16 on the high E. Then 16 on the G. And then to finish up, um, we're going to have a full step bend or a whole step bend on the 19th fret on the B. Then to finish that off, um, we let it down on the same fret and then just pick the note and then give it a little bit of vibrato. So that whole last phrase again at a slow tempo should look like this. <laughs> 